Now in this class, we will talk about the Minikube and the KubeCTL. So these two tools are very important for the Kubernetes industry and inside this Kubernetes industry. So before starting the introduction of the Minikube, let me tell you about uh, some idea about what exactly happens uh, in the production environment or in the real world. So in the real world, there will be like uh, many master nodes and the many worker nodes. Just like here you can see in the picture, we have two master nodes and we have different uh, worker nodes, like three worker nodes we have currently in this scenario. Okay, but it can be more and it can be less as well, but not it will not be easier for us to just create one cluster like this, these kind of. Suppose like uh, the thing is the node here refers to what? The node here basically refers to the virtual machine or the physical machine. So if you are learning Kubernetes, for you it's not possible to create those kind of uh, to create the virtual machines inside the cloud in the instances like Amazon EC2 instance or if you if you will use Azure then there will be there is virtual machine. So for you it's not possible to do all those things and create one cluster and everything. Okay, so that's why for the testing purpose and learning purpose, so Mini Cube came in the role. So what is a mini cube? Mini cube is nothing but a single node cluster. Okay, here you can see I have written the definition for you. It's a one node cluster where the master process and worker process both will work on a single machine. So here the single machine means on your particular system. Suppose if you want to, uh, uh, if you are learning on your Windows uh, Windows PC, then there will be you will install the mini cube and then you are good to go to learn about the Kubernetes. Okay. So here in the mini cube, we are getting this master process, worker process and also one benefit is that you get Docker pre-installed with that. Okay. So when you will install mini cube, then you will get Docker pre-installed with that. Okay. So also the thing is like uh, for using the mini cube, you should have the virtualization enabled. Okay. It's like uh, compulsory to work uh, like uh, virtualization should be enabled. Okay. And also let's see the how we actually it works. So suppose this is your host OS. Host OS can be your Mac or Windows or the Linux. Okay. And then in that there will be VM and after that there will be the mini cube. Okay. On that we will install the mini cube. Okay. So this is the overall idea about the mini cube. Okay. So and now let's see about the cube CTL. So cube CTL as you are aware, it's nothing but the one of the command line tool which is used to manage the cluster. Okay. So th this is the like basic definition of the cube CTL. So in our upcoming class, we will install the mini cube and the all those cube CTL in different OS. Okay. So I hope you got it. If you have any query, you can ask us. Thanks. So that's it for today and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.